It's no ordinary junk mail. Crime-fighting charity Crime Stoppers is sending out thousands of leaflets telling householders how to spot potential cannabis farms in their street with a scratch and sniff panel that replicates the smell of the drug when it's growing. But the smell isn't the only clue. Householders are also being urged to look out for houses where the blinds are always shut or the windows closed. And growing cannabis needs heat. During the winter, some farms were caught because they were the only houses with no snow on the roof. According to police figures, there's been a 15% increase in discoveries of residential cannabis factories since 2011. Cannabis hotspots include Leeds, Sheffield, London and Bristol. There's normally somebody looking after the house. Um, some houses are, are full of plants, others aren't. Maybe, maybe the top floor, maybe the ground floor. Uh, but, but the big thing is people come and go because those that are living there will not be in control of the premises. So therefore, that's how you recognise, well, somebody living there do doesn't seem to go out and then other people coming and going. As well as links to organised or violent crime, cannabis farms often tap into Maine's electricity supplies, meaning bigger energy bills for law-abiding households and an increased risk of fire due to all the heaters needed. Ben Ando, BBC News.